Hello, 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 and welcome once again to Movies That Pop. I'm the Colonel. Let's see what popped up in theaters this week. Ah, Steven Spielberg, Tom Hanks, a wartime story. This is gonna be intense, right? Well, no, not really. Uh, Bridge of Spies is a solid entertainment, a compelling drama, and there's nothing really, you know, wrong with it. Uh, on the contrary, everything with this movie is done perfectly. So why am I not raving about it? Uh, I don't know, maybe it's a me problem. But riding high on the wave of the recent slate of releases like The Martian, Steve Jobs, Crimson Peak, even Everest and The Walk, they're flashy spectacles with dynamic stories of life and death, or they're rife with clever inspirational dialogue that gives you insight into human nature, or awe-inspiring visual thrills. And the best movies this fall have more than one of those qualities. So here comes Bridge of Spies, and it's a well-made, well-written, well-acted movie. I watched it, I enjoyed it, and I never need to see it or think about it again. No, not even at Oscar time. It's an odd situation to be in. I, I always want to recommend the best ways for you to spend your film-going dollar. But I can't just review a film by comparing it to what else is available in the marketplace. That's not fair. Also, it's a little dangerous to review this film by comparing it to the filmmaker's previous work. I mean, the filmmaker here is Spielberg. The man made E.T., all right? He made Raiders. Or perhaps closer to this genre, he made Munich and Schindler's List. He made Amistad and Lincoln. Talk about stacking the deck against you. So how about we make a deal? I don't make any comparisons in this review. It'll be difficult to resist, but I'll try for you. And if you're trying to decide what to spend your money on this weekend, you can look at my channel for reviews of all the rest of the movies currently in theaters and make up your own mind. So let's narrow our focus to the movie in front of us, shall we? Bridge of Spies, let's get in depth. Bridge of Spies tells a measured, mature, sober story of how one man's idealism, wisdom, and patience inspired multiple nations to act humanely in a time of paranoia and secrecy, the Cold War. It does not contain impassioned speeches, acting histrionics, or explosions, or plot twists springing from duplicitous cloak and dagger shenanigans. It is instead a plea for civility, for level-headedness and calm. And that's not very sexy. So it is a credit to perhaps our greatest living film director, Steven Spielberg, that Bridge of Spies isn't boring as all get out. Tom Hanks plays James Donovan, an insurance lawyer tasked by the US government with the thankless job of providing a defense for the recently captured Soviet spy, Rudolf Abel played with subtle dignity by Mark Rylance. While Donovan takes the job reluctantly, he does believe in the cause that everyone deserves a proper defense, even as he gets slandered and his family harassed for the trouble. Later, when an American spy is captured by the Russians, Donovan is asked to negotiate a prisoner swap between Russia and the US. Matters get more complicated when an American student is captured by the East Germans and somehow negotiations for the release of this innocent teenager get wrapped up in the negotiations between two superpowers for the exchange of spies who were actively engaging in espionage. Are you confused yet? Well, fear not, because the whole affair is made very simple by Spielberg and the script by Oscar winners the Coen brothers. In fact, it's almost too simple. The trailer might have you believe that all of these events are handled simultaneously in one big dramatic package, but really it's a series of vignettes almost. A theme is introduced, a point is made, and the story moves on. The harassment of Donovan's family and his insistence on doing the right thing, all Atticus Finch style, the defense of Abel, the capture of the American spy and the American student, the negotiations with Russia, the interference of Germany, the intricacies of having Donovan wander around Berlin while not actually being an agent of the US and thus having no real protection, it's all interesting. It's given to you slowly, methodically, but the fact remains that in making a movie about the importance of keeping one's cool, all hell never really breaks loose. And there's nothing wrong with that. In fact, 
This movie sure does make your hero-loving heart beat for James Donovan, especially when you see a title card at the end and you find out what he accomplished in his life after the events of the movie. One thread that does make it all the way through the movie is the friendship and mutual respect that springs up between Donovan and Abel. This script, a very serious one, may have only one joke, and it is repeated throughout the film. James Donovan repeatedly asks the very stoic, reserved Abel why he's not worried at this or that, and Abel always has the same reply. Do you never worry? Would it help? It's simple and it's poignant. Would it help? And that, I think, is the message of the movie. It's why the joke recurs throughout the whole film. Worrying never helps. Panic never helps. Paranoia can destroy nations. And this film is all about the importance of keeping your calm, being steadfast in your resolve, and always being true to your values. A year from now, you'll find this on cable or something, and you'll watch it all the way through, and then you'll say to yourself at the end, oh yeah, Spielberg directed this, I remember now. It doesn't feel very Spielberg. Heck, John Williams didn't even score the film. I know, John Williams, who has scored all but one of Spielberg's movies since Jaws. Yes, he even did The Terminal. And no, they didn't have a falling out or anything. John Williams was just unable to write the score due to health problems. Don't worry, he'll be back for Spielberg's next film. And of course, he'll be writing the score for some space movie that's coming up. Anyway, there I go, reneging on my promise not to compare Bridge of Spies to Spielberg's past masterpieces. Sue me. I'm giving Bridge of Spies a large bag of popcorn. It is an extremely well-made movie. Now, it's a tough sell to anybody under 40, but if you find yourself at the theater and you've seen everything else, or like I said, if you're watching HBO next year on a Sunday afternoon, you will enjoy this movie. And you'll wonder why you never heard of it before. That does it for this edition of Movies That Pop. Please click the thumbs up below to indicate your approval. Leave any comments for me below this video and click subscribe so you'll never miss a review. In the meantime, thanks for watching and if you're one of those people who keeps hearing me ask you to subscribe and you want to reply to me, hey, would it help? The answer is yes. Yes, it would. So click subscribe. In the meantime, thanks for watching. I'm the Colonel. Bye.